Help. Engaged. Greetings everyone. In this episode, I show a very easy, stress-free way to beat the Cloudburst tank. We join the fight just after scanning the Cloudburst tank, because only now does the actual battle with the tank start. Prior to this, you should have avoided the Cloudburst tank, and taken out the six Cobra tanks first. Anyway, this is where we have to go, on the map, in order for this trick to work. You will see why, shortly. <laughs> The most efficient way, is to let the tank see you, and then let it follow you back to the location on the map. But you can get hit a few times, so it's risky, and I wouldn't recommend you do that, unless you are really experienced in driving the Batmobile. There it is, but it did not see us, because we were not in its line of sight. And now to get its attention. Note how I immediately move to cover, after firing. Never take it on, and then stay out in the open. Ha, it nearly got me, which is why it's probably best to fire at it nearer this tunnel, but that can take a lot longer, since it can take its sweet time getting near here, on its own. It has stopped chasing us, otherwise this garage was our ultimate destination, no matter. We will have plenty of opportunities to visit it shortly, as we go out to take another shot at that thing. I took a risk here, getting so close to it, but I wanted to hurry things up a little. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you, this so-called, cool trick. And that trick is, that the Cloudburst tank, cannot follow us in here. He's trying to overheat the Cloudburst. Leave now. He cannot win! You will have your chance to kill him. I'm not waiting anymore. Don't let it get too far away, from the tunnel entrance, and a good way to do that, is to fire at it, regardless of whether you have a lock on it, or not. It didn't follow us, so let's try again. Its behavior varies, and sometimes it will change course, and come back this way, which is better for us, as we do not want it to have long sight lines, when facing us. Our aim is to fire at it from, around the left corner of the hill, if we were coming out of the tunnel. In fact, from this point exactly. If you want the cloud burst, come take it! Normally, one random, unlock shot, is all it takes to make that fracker chase you back to the garage, but not on this occasion. Now back to the garage, or as I like to call it, the safe room. Do not leave the safe room, until the tank turns from red, back to ember, on the radar. If you do, the Arkham Knight will not hesitate to hunt you down. Here, let me demonstrate. See? 
The fracker is relentless, but I'm sure most of you already knew that, which might be the reason you are watching this video in the first place. Eight night. It is mine. And that is mine. The car's not strong enough. Neither are you. This tank was built to destroy you. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it, asshole, thanks to my safe room. He must be really mad, because he doesn't want to go away. If this happens, just exit the safe room to get him back here, and hopefully, that should shake him loose from hunt and kill mode. I won't stop! The thing is, you have to be really patient, because this fracker can end you, with just a couple of shots. Don't forget, I'm playing at New Game Plus difficulty, so I'm sure he does more damage at this level. If we could manually save, then I would be a lot more aggressive, but since we can't, I simply do not want to start from the last checkpoint again, which would basically put us back to the start of this video. Explosion disabled the main cap. Now I can get close and concentrate fire on the cloud burst. So now we are on to the final stage of the fight. This can be fought by simply going round a small building in circles. That's how I did it the first time I played this, but since we are at this tunnel, we might as well use it. You can get a similar effect simply by dodging around the bend. Anyway, since we just hit a checkpoint, I restarted from that checkpoint, because I needed a break. Also, you get full health again, which is something to bear in mind, if your health is running low. Your aim should be, to hit the bottom half of the tank because that's where you will do damage. Eventually, you will destroy the tank. It took me about 16 minutes to destroy the Cloudburst tank using this strategy. That time includes the first and second stage of this fight, not including the Cobra tanks, which I did not show. This is the safest strategy, which guarantees success, but it may not necessarily be the quickest strategy. You could try a quicker strategy, but that will probably involve more risk, which could lead to countless deaths, hence ultimately, take you a lot longer to complete. The reality is, how well you do in this game is mostly down to luck, because this game can cheat, and put you at a sudden disadvantage, if it wants to. But if you use the strategy shown in this video, that element of luck is taken out of the equation, and you should be able to complete this part, with the minimum of stress. Because I remember when I first played this part, I really hated it and I got really frustrated. Hopefully, after watching this, you can avoid that happening to you. Anyway, time's nearly up, so please remember to comment, thumbs up and subscribe, if you liked this video or found it helpful. This is Blade, and it's goodbye from me.